and CMC, be it the tools or media, or indeed the technology. Um, therefore, for the young children group, it would not be if children had free range of when they use tools such as the internet or the World Wide Web, uh, then they would be on it a lot more often than usually allowed. It is known that generally parents tend to allocate specific time periods in which children can spend online using the various CMC tools in order to complete a range of activities, as mentioned in the very first extract. Whilst parents also monitor their activities and software such as IMB Brother to ensure that the child's activities online are structured towards the development of core skills and are not wasted elsewhere, or so that they are not exposed to materials or content of an otherwise insultable nature, which all in all curtails the amount of time spent online, indeed in using CMC tools, as well as the varied nature in which the activities entail. Uh, for the second group, which is the teens, young adults, adults age group, um, this can vary widely from the middle of the road user whose daily activities tend to, to more, no more than occasional checking of emails and frequent pursuing of the news uh, and perhaps a bit of online shopping and internet banking and perhaps very little else. Um, this can, extend, can be extended of course to those who seem to be permanently online in some way, shape or form or another. Um, this course can be dependent on the individual's requirements on even the online CMC but generally can encompass all of the above, plus downloading music, checking out forums and blogs, um, interacting with social networking sites such as Facebook, online gaming, as well as other more explicit entertainment activities. Um, it therefore could be safely said that the variance in which those persons of this age group visit sites or use tools in order to make use of CMC can be wide and vast, and the amount of time spent online will be much greater than that of children, or most likely the elderly. Um, the elderly, meanwhile, more doubt cover most of the same or similar activities to that of the previous age group, although it is unlikely that the wide variance of anywhere near the same amount of time spent on each would be anywhere near the same, although this could depend on the particular person's own wants and needs from using CMC tools. The last of the four areas I believe should be mentioned is the different social reliance which is afforded by the technology and general CMC tool usage. Um, again, for the children group, child's group, there is less of a likelihood that children will be looking to use the tools available through the use of CMC as a means of social reliance, or indeed interaction with peers, as the time spent online communicating is restricted by certain factors anyway, as already mentioned. That means it is already less likely that we gain a solid interest in needing or wanting to use CMC tools to socialise because of the likelihood of interaction through preschool or primary school groups, activities or classes. Um, Again, for the teens, young adults and adults group, this would like to be the more social reliance on the use of CMC tools and indeed in the last band of communication on the CMC. Uh, social networking sites, again, such as Facebook, Bevo and MySpace and the like, have allowed users, namely those who fit into this vast age group, uh, to build new relations, contacts and means of communication, some of which certain people have come to heavily rely upon as a means of keeping up to date and keeping in touch with peers, friends, family, etc. Uh, that they otherwise don't have the time or means available to them in order to consistently ensure that they do so. Um, with the elderly age group, it is more likely to take an example from both of the previous two groups, in that it is less likely to be a need for social reliance through the use of CM tools, as is the case with the young children age group, due to the fact that the basis of their social action is done so in a physical lo location. However, in order to help maintain an aid in ensuring social interaction is kept to a premium, Elderly age group is likely to learn from the secondary tier group in using the said tools and means to ensure that they can keep in touch with the need or want to, especially if doing so with persons that otherwise don't have the time or ability to be interacted with on a personal level or more frequent level than other else which means. Moving on away from the four key areas of which the three groups are likely to differ and onto the way of using themselves different types specific is the CMC lifespan. Um, in more specific means, with children, it is said, after reports taken from a study con conducted by Sagata Mito and Vivica Rana, uh, that learning basic CMC skills from early age than previously considered the norm before is dependent on the level of exposure to CMC, including the tools and the means. Uh, with an ethos of the more, ethos of the more, the better, meaning that like with anything you might discover as a young child, the more you're exposed or allowed to exposed to or allowed to interact with, the more you're likely to learn and pick it up on it, even when you adapt to, and at a much faster rate than those who aren't exposed. It is also said that the speed of rate of which young children learn these skills are not reliant on the individual's education, cultural background, language, everything else of that nature either. It's purely all about the exposure levels. It is also said by that of software reviewers Ellen Woolock and colleagues, circa 1998, that there are a number of myths with regards to the relationship between computers and young children. The myths include that the idea that children are smarter to use computers, children will become less socialised by using computers, children will need to, need to become computer literate as soon as possible in order to keep up with their peers, 
um, but there's no real state of truth or proof in either a for or against viewpoint for any of these, as a lot of it is purely down to opinion rather than scientific fact, and can depend on an individual's case-by-case -case basis and circumstance. I will, have a, however, take a further look at these myths at a later point on the presentation. Many companies, though, also promote monitoring programs such as IM Big Brother, Cyber Soul Control Kids, amongst others, um, that promise to help parents keep track of their children's online activities. Arguably, also, this is a way to help parents control their children's online identities and social networking. However, there are also numerous spaces online where children can safely engage in online communication. For example, CBBC has a space called Star Chat, affording children the opportunity to email their television online program stars and a message board that includes web files, boasting nearly 4,000 messages since its inception. Uh, similarly, in the USI, the use of PBS Kids is defined as a t device as a tool for primary school or preschool children over there as a means of digital learning content, which has been proven as a trusted learning environment for teachers and parents alike, using a similar concept of a social community, as well as providing games and interactive t activities to help build the skills of the young children through exposure to CMC usage. Not only can the use of CMC tools help aid relationship and social growth and development, it also has the potential to help bridge the gender gap, if modelled correctly. Some scholars are said to argue that boys and girls will learn computing in the same way and on the same level if given the chance, although as males and females are continuously socially condi conditioned differently from a young age with regards with, with their reactions to and interactions with technology, the apparent digital gender divide starts to develop from a young age. Um, for the teens, young adults and adult age group, which of course includes ourselves, it is more likely that it's going to be a mix of us all between self-taught self those exposed early to CMC tools and computing technology in general, as well as those who are in between. Need to less forget that there will also be extreme variants of each of these at either end of the scale. Uh, I'll assume here for the purpose of this presentation that it would all be of the higher current exposure scale, perhaps even on a daily basis use of CMC in some form or another, and a large portion of knowledge would be self-taught, with it either being for the university course and individual module purposes or just even for your own general interest, in, interest and activities. Okay, so just going back to the myths, um, children will be smarter if they use computers, perhaps on a general computer and seems to be a literary scale, but not definite on a general everyday topical scale. Just due to possibly early computer usage, someone that's on using computers seems to use such a due to interest in that particular area, not specifically because of high intellect. Um, children will become less socialised by using computers? No. Uh, probably more the opposite, at least, CMC hasn't harmed social interaction, in my view, as a networking site such as Facebook, Bebo, and to a lesser extent MySpace have proved. Who says social interaction has to take place in a physical location for it to be valid? Um, virtual locations or websites work too. Similar to the idea of a live web chat lecture for this module a few weeks ago, nights out and events can be organised, etc. as well. Um, plus, there's a convenience of being able to do so whilst generally doing general online tasks. And checking emails, banking, etc. Um, more specifically, as a culture, we're just beginning to learn how to explore the opportunities on the boundary between the physical and virtual.